for my verse here, my arp here is actually just exactly copying the what the bass is doing, only moved up an octave. So I'm using Abderian Pluck 1 here inside of Centronic 2 for the patch. And then I've got some super VHS saturation and some reverb as well on this, along with some dotted eighth note delay and also a filter opening up again to help increase that energy build. And so altogether it sounds like this. So very cool, very dark sounding, and it adds that etherealness um, kind of clashing with that edginess of the bass. And that takes us into the chorus where I have that same pluck, um, just doing this arp pattern here, which just came to me in my head as I was listening to the song. I'm like, I just, I just heard this arp pattern in my head, so I added this in. And then I have this, um, I wanted to change it up, these last two bars here, because having the same arp all the way through can get uh, a little repetitive and sound a little bit annoying. Um, so I just looked at the bass here and I saw that we have, right, the bass kind of drops down here to C uh, and then it moves up to D sharp, right? You got some other notes in here bouncing around just for variation, but really um, what it's really doing here is C and D sharp. So that's what I decided to do for the ARP here to have it follow the bass. So again, the bass is really the foundation of our song here. And so it sounds like this. And of course I have that filter opening up again to add that increase in energy. And then the bridge, I'm using a different pluck, uh, which is the December pluck, which is actually part of Synth Control's Dark Synthwave Serum plugin pack. I'll also link to this in the description below. This is really cool as well. And for this, I am automating the drive, the morph, and the cutoff over time here as it increases over the bridge. And I came with it, up with this just by playing on my keyboard. I, I found I liked having the C as the root here and having different notes bounce back and forth between C. And so that's how I went about creating this. If you found this video helpful, be sure to send that like button back to the upside down like you're 11 attacking a Demigorgon. Otherwise, if you want more help creating synthwave music, then be sure to click the video playing on the screen right now. This includes my full in-depth tutorial on creating synthwave music start to finish. And as always, have an awesome day. Keep creating.